I'll do this anyway. That's the off clay. We'll chop that nice and fine, really. Right. Because what we're using is this block here, which is going to be filled up with the off clay. So that's all nicely hammered in there. Scrape the clay off the top of here. And what we've obviously now got, yeah, I'm just going to rub that talcum powder into there. Right, here's the model for the ring. I'm going to force this down into the mould. Halfway. All that down there. Yep, so this one goes on top of that. Pushed all the way down. And the next lot of clay goes in. And with a bit of luck, I'm going to separate these two halves. This is now going to come out of here. I'm going to push an air hole through there. have got to be as big as you can get them. And that's going to come out the other side. The air holes higher up on this side. Into there. Those two are going to go together. Okay. Yep. So we've got air holes at the back, and air holes that side, and air holes coming out through those two bits there are burnt. This, this this one's propane and acetylene.
see that's, that's the burnt out the clay's burnt around there's the ring inside the other one basically it's all upside down now that's where we pulled the metal in and that's the air holes where the metals come out through the top of here and the air holes those two spikes and there'll be two more on the other side of the air holes where I made the holes through the back to let the air come out so the silver went in and go down there. I'll just put this down not wanting to get hold of it because it's still hot 